everybody. This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today's video is about Rubens Augusta. Now, if you don't know about Rubens, check out my previous video where I interview the owner of this historic store. But today, it's all about an unboxing. So Rubens has been around since 1898, and they have some of the best treasures you can find. If you're into vintage things, then you're going to love this store because this store not only has current modern things, but they have vintage things that are brand new with tags, pristine condition. It's a rare thing that you can find so many beautiful vintage pieces in one location, brand new with tags. I'm telling you, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. It's like the unicorn of stores. You have got to check out Rubens. You're talking about vintage Liz Claiborne, vintage Dooney and Bird, uh, just all the brands, Etienne Anye or Agner, as some say, all these like, you know, well-known brands that you remember from your childhood, they are there. Brand new with tags, guys. It's, it's the best thing ever. So, gonna start out with the smallest box first. Look at that gold foiling, Rubens. Mm. So, if you watched that previous video that I did, I took my viewers on a little shopping excursion to show you some of the things that they had. And these two items that I'm about to show you, I featured in that video. And I did put these items on layaway. That is another cool thing. Rubens has a layaway plan and you can just put down a certain amount and pay on it a little bit to get it paid off. If you're like me, you don't like putting things on charge card and you don't like creating debt, you want to you know, live within your means, then this is a good alternative and there's no interest on it. So that's a really cool thing about it. So here is the first thing. Can you guess what I got? Mm -hmm. I got one of those wallets. So this one is in ivy and black. Mm, rare colors, rare, 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 and in the co pristine condition. Look at that. You got the little leather duck on the front. You got this coin case with the smooth black in the back. Kiss lock closure. This is brass detailing. And that tan interior still has the registration card on the inside. I'm going to keep that in. Look at that nice gold detailing there. So it has a snap closure. Open it up to this beautiful smooth leather with all of these nice card slots for your ID. And then flip past this tissue paper, which I'm gonna keep in place. You have photo inserts. Mm -hmm. Yes, you remember those, right? Has that and then it has the more card slots. And then you have your bill folder and it has a divider inside so you can separate your large bills from your small bills oh my goodness green and black now i did not purchase this for myself i purchased this for a friend of mine a really dear person who is just really thoughtful and always thinks of other people so i picked this up for her and i'll be getting that out really soon the next one i picked up is another wallet exactly the same but this one i did pick up for myself and guess what color I got it in? I'll give you two seconds. One, two. Did you say red? You are absolutely right. I got it in red with brown trim. Exact same wallet as the other one, but it has that brown trim on it. And I just absolutely love it. It's more of an orangey red, um, but really, really beautiful. Absolutely love that. So pick that up. Uh, these wallets were, I believe, $48. So really good deal on vintage genuine leather Dooney and Berg wallets. Can't beat it. All right, so the next items that I picked up were some keychains. I picked this one up for myself. This is a brass duck head. Not duck head, <laughs> brass Dooney and Berg with the duck on it and on the back it has the little stamping Dooney and Burke on the back but I just like that leather and brass layering there just really really pretty nice contrasting so this was $24 excellent deal on that and then I picked up two more um Dooney and Burke ring holders and I picked these up for friends of mine so I'll be mailing these off too these were $16.50 and these are genuine leather uh, key ring holders and I like the contrasting on those so really really nice pick those up 
All right, so that is it for the smaller box. Now it is time to check out what's in the bigger box. Hmm. Can you guess? Can you guess? All right. So I kept them in the bag as well. It says uh, Rubens since 1898, Augusta's finest home-owned department store, 914 Broad Street, Augusta, Georgia, for style and value. All right, so let me give you a little backstory. I absolutely love the selection of clothing that Farm Rio has. Learned about Farm Rio here on YouTube, watching various content creators, and I went to their website, browsed around, loved what I saw, but the prices did not fit my budget. But they do have sales sometimes, but guess what? Even the sales did not fit my budget. But I absolutely love the clothing and I'm not gonna go in debt for anybody. I'm just not gonna be charging things just so I can say I have a certain thing. That's just not me. But when I saw this sweater at Rubens, it reminded me so much of the things that they have in uh, at Farm Rio. And you know what? I it reminded me that, you know what, Audrey, these current designers, they're just drawing inspiration from the past. Everything, there's nothing new under the sun. It's fashion cycles around. That's why everything is fashionable these days. If you like it, rock it because it's in. I'm telling you, nothing is out of style now, really and truly. I mean, they say certain things are trending and this is out, but in my book, if you can rock it and look good in it and it makes you feel good, then it's in style. So this particular sweater reminded me of some of the designs from Farm Rio. Let me just give you a quick look at some of the things that Farm Rio has. These are some sweaters that, you know, have been on the site. Bold, bright colors, really unique designs and prints, very vibrant and just really colorful. That's what I think of when I think of Farm Rio. Unique, bold, vibrant patterns and prints. And so I want to show you two sweaters side by side. One is from uh, Farm Rio and one is by this brand that I'm going to show you, which is Eddie Dawson. And you can see how similar the designs are, but one is vintage and one is modern. And then let me show you two other sweaters. So here are two more sweaters, very similar in the sense that they're bold, they're vibrant, and then they have these little round balls on them, right? Well, one is modern and it costs $122. The other one is vintage and I paid $88 for it. Let me show you. So here is that beautiful Eddie Dawson sweater. Look at those beautiful colors, the nice leaf print and it has those little uh, balls on it, just gold and purples and Blacks, I mean, it's just really beautiful against this kind of teal green color, just absolutely gorgeous. And I can rock this with jeans, I can rock this with leggings, I can rock it with another print that has similar colors in it, though I don't really, I'm not a professional at mixing prints, I need to work on that. But isn't it fabulous? It's just absolutely beautiful. This is made of rainy and cotton, and it's this is a size medium, by the way and it's solid color on the back. But do you see the similarities in what I'm talking about? So I feel like I'm getting that little bit of Farm Rio styling without the Farm Rio price, so it's in my budget. Like I say, I put these on layaway. But I'm gonna be styling this sweater for you a couple of ways, so stick around for that. And then the next thing that I picked up was this vintage Liz Claiborne, brand new with tags as well. Picked this one up for $35, it was on sale. It has genuine leather trim and then it has a PU body, which is polyurethane, or I guess you could say just a vinyl type of body. And it has the classic Liz Claiborne pyramid design all around. It has the snap pocket in the front that you could definitely fit a modern phone in for easy access. You have a main zip po pocket. The interior is tan with a zip pocket. It has a leather patch that tells you it was made in Korea in 1983. I was 12 years old at the time and now I hear I have something from a time period uh, that, you know, it just reminded me of my childhood and 
It was a really good price, excellent condition, and you just can't beat that. And I love the vibrant color of it. It goes pretty well with this sweater, doesn't it? So those are all the items that I picked up from Rubens. I'm gonna style this sweater for you. So make sure you stick around and then make sure you, you know, create some dialogue in the comments because I really want to hear from you. Be right back. I paired this sweater with a pair of light wash distress jeans and a pair of Michael Kors booties and of course the vintage yellow Liz Claiborne bag because I think this yellow bag pairs well with the yellow orange color in the sweater. They're kind of in the same color family and it's just a bright and colorful outfit. And I just think you could rock this sweater a lot of different ways. This is just a casual look, but if you wanna elevate your casual look just a little, pair it with some black leggings and a pair of black booties. And then, you know, a bag that's a little bit dressier here. I'm carrying my Henry Bindle bag and I think it just takes it up just a little notch. It's still casual, but not as casual with the denim jeans. I would love to hear how you would rock this. There are so many ways you could wear this with a broomstick skirt. Remember broomstick skirts that were so popular in the 80s? That would look good with this sweater, maybe in black or gold with some boots, oh my goodness, and a blazer, yes, and belted, oh my goodness, yes. But anyway, I digress. Here are the two looks side by side so you can see the contrast. Let me know in the comments below which styling you like better. Would you prefer the jeans or the leggings? And if either or neither, let me know in the comments below because I know I have a lot of fashionistas out there who would probably rock this, you know, so many other ways. But I want to hear from you. I learn from you all. But this is just my take on it. for tuning in for this Rubens Augusta unboxing. Once again, it's at 914 Broad Street here in Augusta. Make sure you check it out. It has some really awesome deals there, really unique things. If you are a stylist, if you're in the film industry, you definitely need to stop into Rubens. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Absolutely love the things that I got. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the items that I shared with you. Are you into vintage items? What do you think about vintage pricings? And like, do you agree with me that things that are vintage that are brand new with tags should be more than things that are vintage that are used? I think it just makes sense. And I think a, like a lot of the designers draw inspiration from the past. So why not just rock things from the past? Well, I love you. Remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and make sure you check out my community tab. I'm doing a giveaway to say thank you to all of my viewers. So if you're into handbags, then you might want to enter this giveaway. So stop by the community section of my page, read about it, how to enter, and then go ahead and enter. The deadline is March 4th. Oh, and also this t-shirt right here, this is called Heritage Wrap and it comes in all different colors. I'm rocking it in the gold, but I also have it in like a maroon color. You can get it in blue, green, whatever you want, but check that out as well at newlifeartanddesign.com. All right, those are all my plugs. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.